Well, for more on this move, we are now joined by Didier Hussain. He's the Director of Energy Markets and Security at the International Energy Agency, and he's joining us live on the phone from Paris. Didier, thank you for joining us. Welcome to Fast Forward. Um, Adam, okay. I think, gave us a great uh, introduction to this announcement today. So tell us this, exactly where are you getting the oil from and what kind of oil is it? Uh, this is a collective decision of uh, I, the uh, member countries of the International Energy Agency. So the U.S. Uh, is going to provide half of this uh, 60 million barrels, and the rest will be split between Europe for 30 percent and 20 percent from Asian countries. So the oil will be uh, will come from all these countries, and will be made available in the in the coming uh, in the coming days or weeks. And uh, it will depend on each country. We will have crude, we will have products. But as, as pointed out before, what is important is the quality issue. And we expect these countries to make available light, sweet crude that could replace uh, easily Libyan crudes as well as uh, refined products. DDA, how will the oil released be allocated? So will it be um, based on an as-needed or will it be on it an as-needed basis? Yeah, it will be made available to the market, and, and, and we expect that, that the, it will be taken by the market. And uh, the, the, the procedure will be different in, in, in the U.S. public tenders and loans to the uh, oil companies. And uh, then there can be also a lot of swaps because uh, this, this uh, lack, this shortage of Libyan, uh, of Libyan oil has uh, particularly hit Europe, but that had an impact on the global markets, include, including on the U.S. And will there be, this will be sold at a market price, or will there be some constraints around the pricing for this oil? Uh, again, it will depend on countries. It can be, be tender, where, where the price will be fixed by the, by the, by the uh, offers that will be made. And uh, some countries will also lower their stock holding obligation that uh, they have on oil companies. So in that case, the, uh, the oil is immediately available. So there's going to be different procedures uh, according to countries. Didier, um, the market seems to be been taken by surprise by this announcement today. What was behind the timing? Uh, the timing, of course, we've been facing the uh, disruption from, from, from Libya uh, uh, over a couple of months, but now uh, what's changing is the, the season. This uh, supply disruption has been underway for some time, but this effects is becoming more serious now uh, we, as we are heading uh, into the, the driving season. It's a, a time where uh, in, the, in all IE countries, uh, refined demand for crude is actually increasing. So the threat of a, a serious market tightening in the country coming months um, led us to take that decision before we see uh, a, a looming shortage of us, especially of a sweet, uh, sweet crude that may have had serious economic uh, uh, damage for the uh, global economy. So Didi, I understand this is um, the supply, is this extra supply coming online by next week and it's the plan is for two million barrels a day making up for the Libya supply that we will no longer have. And that's just over the next 30 days? That's over the next 30 days, 2 million dollars per day, exactly. And, and, and we hope that, that this all will be made available very soon on the market. All right, DDA, thank you so much for joining us today. That was DDA Hussain. He's the Director of Energy Markets and Security at the International Energy Agency commenting on this morning's announcement.